Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with another game in my Phillies season. Today we are playing the Pirates. We are in the third game of a three-game series against the Pirates, and we split the first two. So uh, the Phillies come into this game. This is uh, nearly the quarter waypoint of the season. We're 40 games in. Uh, after this game, this is game 40. Uh, we are 12 and 27. We are not the worst team in the league. Boston has that distinction, but we are only maybe a game or two better than Boston. And, uh, the Pirates come in 18 and 20. So they're only two games under 500. Now they are dealing with some injuries. Um, so there are a couple of players that, uh, like Cole Tucker that won't be playing in this game because they are injured. The pitching matchup today is going to be um, Spencer Howard for our Phillies. And Spencer Howard has a 1-1 one one record on the year. He'll be going up against Trevor Williams of the Pirates. And he is 2-4 and four on the year. So I will go over the lineups before they, uh, before they bat. And we bat first against Trevor uh, Williams. And this is the lineup we're going to send up against him. We're going to lead off with uh, Roman Quinn. The amazing Quinn is going to lead off and play center field. Then uh, uh, Andrew McCutcheon will be the left fielder, batting second. Didi Gregorius bats third, and he's the shortstop. Batting in the cleanup spot will be Bryce Harper, and he's the right fielder. Jay Bruce is the DH today, batting fifth. He had yesterday off in the game that we did beat the Pirates in, so that was good. Uh, Torres will play second base and bat sixth. Batting seventh will be the real Muto at catcher. Baum is going to be the third baseman batting eighth. And Hoskins will bat ninth and be the third baseman. And so with all of that out of the way, we're going to get going here. Uh, Roman Quinn batting first. And he gets a 2-9. And this is against a righty. And that is going to be a fly ball to left field. So that's an F7. There's one away. Andrew McCutcheon is up. And he gets a 3-9. And that's going to be a ground ball to second, 4-3. By the way, uh, we, have the, uh, uh, we have the inning marker right here. So you can always look up and see what inning we're in. And I am going to keep the scores on top of the icons, on top of the... Uh, the packets that I keep the teams in so that you know what the score for each team is as we go forward. And Gregorius is the batter. And he gets a 4-5 batting left against Williams. And that's going to be a ground ball to second as well. And that's a 4-3. We are out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the first inning. And so we got to move the marker. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm going to try to remember to move the out marker, but don't go by that. <laughs> Brian Williams, I sometimes forget to move it all the time. That is a 4-8 for Brian, Brian Reynolds. Oh, and by the way, the Pirates lineup is Brian Reynolds leading off, playing left field. Osuna in right, batting second. Moran, the DH, batting third. Josh Bell is the first baseman batting in the cleanup spot. Cabrian Hayes is the third baseman batting fifth. Stallings will catch today and bat sixth. JT Riddle is the shortstop batting seventh. Newman is going to bat eighth and play second. And Oliva, who is uh, in for because of injuries, will play center field and bat ninth. And the 4-8. Uh, for a guy batting left against Howard is going to be a single. So he gets on. And uh, that's the first hit of the game that we've got. And Howard allows it. Osuna is up. And he gets a 2-2. Two -two, and against a leftner, against a righty, that's going to be a walk. So the Pirates immediately have two guys on and are immediately threatening here. And Colin Moran is the batter. He is the DH today, 4-4, four, four, batting left. And that's going to be a catcher card. He is a 1. 
So he is a 1E1, and that is a 9. And that's going to be on the E1 rating. That is a 2. And that's going to be an E1. Oh, wait a minute. It's going to be an E1 on a 1. Or a pop-out 2 to 6. So I have to roll it again. Or I have to roll 1 again. But it is. It's an error. So he makes an error. The unlikeliest of all things. First he gets a 1 on the... Uh, the air check, and then on the air check, he has to roll a one to make an air, and he does it. So that's going to be an E2. Of course, that's how the Phillies season has been going. So, I mean, you know, let's just put that in perspective there. Uh, so with all of that having happened, we've got Josh Bell up with the bases loaded and no outs, and he gets a 1-9 against a righty, and that's a strikeout. So... Spencer Howard reaches back when he absolutely has to and gets a strikeout with the bases loaded for Cabrian Hayes. And he gets a 3-6 against a righty, but that's a single double asterisk and knocks in two runs. So uh, that, that knocks in Osuna and Reynolds. And Stallings is the batter. Still no outs. And that is a 1-6, and that's going to be a walk to load the bases. Spencer can't get an out here. Or, well, actually, there is. There is one out. He struck a guy out. But it's still not a good inning, for sure. Bases loaded for J.T. Riddle. And he gets a 3-6, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop B. I did not have the infield in, so that's going to be a fielder's choice that allows a run to score. So that's going to be a 6-4. to four. Um, Yeah, 6-4. to four. Runner out at second base. Uh, the batter is safe, and the runner scores. Now, that, that guy got on by an error, so that's an unearned run. But it is the third run of the inning for the Pirates. And with two down, that brings up Newman. Hello, Newman. And he gets a 5-8, batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to second. Our second baseman today is a 3-E-26. E uh, but that's a 12. So, let's see. So we got to go to the 26 and roll the dice. It's a five. And that's going to be an E1, and that's going to force another run to score. So that's going to be uh, one base error by uh, the second baseman. And that brings Hayes in. And that's the fourth run to score this inning with Oliva up. And he gets a 3-6. And that's going to be a single double asterisk and score another run. This is unbelievable. Spencer sucks. <laughs> I'm going to officially say that right now. So, uh, yeah, another run comes in, and it's the fifth run. Only two have been earned, but still, I mean, he, you can't say he's pitching well. Uh, we're back to the top of the order with Reynolds up. And he gets a 5-6 batting left. And that's going to be finally a strikeout. So Howard strikes out his second man, but uh, five runs come in for the Pirates, and they have a 5 nothing lead. So we have to make sure that we, we're going to the top of the second, and we need to go find a 5, which, like, is crazy, because... So it's 5 nothing <laughs> after 1. Um, yeah. So we got Bryce Harper up. I mean, I don't know if if Trevor Williams is quite that bad. But anyway, we'll see. Harper comes up. He gets a 5-8. Uh, 
and he is batting left. And um, so let's see. That's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Their second baseman is... Um, let's see. Uh, he's a three, uh, and that is a three. So uh, that's going to be on the... Um, main rating there and it's a single it's a single with one asterisk so Harper gets a board with a base hit infield base hit first hit allowed by Williams let's see if we can get at least you know cut into this a little bit Jay Bruce up he gets a 4-8 batting left and that's going to be a strikeout The first strikeout for Williams, and that brings up Torres. And that's going to be a 6-9 for a right-handed batter. And that's going to be a ground ball second base B. And so now Torres is on first base. And Real Muto is the batter. And he gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a strikeout. Real Muto having a terrible year, not even hitting 200. I don't know exactly what it is, but it isn't even 200. And we're going to the bottom of the second. And uh, um, I am going to... I'm going to leave Howard in at least for the second. I mean, I can't I can't burn the bull, burn a hole through the bullpen that bad. So we're going to leave him in at least for the second. And Osuna is up, and he gets a 3-10, which is going to be maybe I can because that is a, a ballpark homer. Wait a minute, a ballpark homer for a righty? No, it's not. It's going to be a fly ball. It's going to be a fly ball to right, but that's still not good. It, almost was out of here. It went all the way back to the wall. Moran is up. He gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. So now, I guess he's, he's pitching much better now, but that's after he allowed five runs in the first inning. Josh Bell. Josh Bell gets a 4-5 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. So, Pretty good inning there by uh, Spencer Howard, but uh, again, you know, the horse has already left the barn. It's 5 nothing as we go to the top of the third. And um, Alec Baum is the better, right? Yep. And he gets a 3-5 against a righty, and that's going to be a single. So Baum aboard with a single. Again, maybe we can start something here. I'd like to see that, although Trevor Williams has only given up two hits so far. Hoskins is the batter. He gets a 3-10. That's going to be a shortstop double play ground ball. So a 6-4-3 we did not really need to have happen, and Quinn is the batter. And that is a 3-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. And we're going to the bottom of the third. Five nothing Pirates here. Bottom of the third inning. I'm going to keep Spencer Howard out there. He had a good, he had a really good second. Maybe he settled down a little bit. Hayes is up. He gets a 6-7 batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. So, yeah, maybe, maybe he has settled down a little bit. And that brings up Stallings. Stallings gets a 4-5 batting right. And uh, that's going to be a walk. So Stallings is aboard with a walk. Third walk issued by Howard today. Riddle is up. 111, and that is going to be an out. It's going to be a fly to left. Riddle flying out to left. 
there's two down and uh and newman up hello and he gets a one five and that's going to be a fly to right so it looks like he ha it looks like spencer howard has settled down a little although a little too late possibly because it's five nothing but McCutcheon will be up here in the top of the fourth inning. And he gets a 111, and that's going to be a walk. We always lead off, I mean, the last two or three innings, we've led off with a guy getting on, and nothing ever comes of it. And that's only the first walk that Trevor Williams has issued. Gregorius is up. He gets a 5-10 batting left, and that's going to be a fly to right. F9, one away. And Harper up. Harper gets a 3-5, and that's going to be a walk. So there's a man, there's two men on. And we're not even hitting him. It's, these are just, uh, you know... Trevor uh, Trevor Williams walking people and Jay Bruce is up. Jay Bruce gets a 111 that's going to be a ground ball third base B so that's a fielder's choice runners are at the corners but there's two out so that was a five to four fielder's choice And uh, Torres is the batter. And he gets a 1-4 against the righty, and that's going to be a ground ball, first base B, and Torres is out. So we fail to score any runs there. We go to the bottom of the fourth, 5 nothing, keeping uh, Howard out there. Oliva's up, and he gets a 5-7, and that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. So one down. Reynolds is up the top of the order here, back to the top of the order. 2-6 uh, is going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. Goes 1-3, Howard makes the play, and Osuna is the batter. And he gets a 5-10 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. The shortstop is a um, 2-E-20. That is a 16, probably an out. And it is 6-3. So again, I mean, he, he's been really, really good from innings 2 through 4. But inning 1, he was terrible. And that's where our problem lies, because we're down 5 nothing in the fifth. Real Muto is up against Williams, and he gets a 5-8 batting right, and uh, that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. He is a 3-E26, and that is a 9, so we're going to go down to the 26. That is an 8. And that is going to be a ground ball A. So he goes 4-3. to three. Real Muto continues his horrible, horrible 2020 replay season. And uh, Bomb is up. And he gets a 1-4. And that is going to be a home run. So we're on the board, at least, with a home run. It's 5-1. And we will uh, think we're going to go quickly get get the one so that we can put that out there so people don't leave. Don't leave. <laughs> so anyway, it is five to one. And uh, with uh, one out, there is there one out? There is one out. And uh, Hoskins up. And he gets a 211, which is a hit by pitch. So maybe we can start something now. Williams hits him with a pitch and up steps Roman Quinn, the amazing Quinn, gets a 3-6, and that's going to be a strikeout. 
All right, maybe we can't get something going. Quinn has struck out twice today and flown out to left field, and McCutcheon is up. And he gets a 6-7 batting right, and that is going to be... That's going to be a double. That is going to be a double. And who is the base runner? Um, because I do have the option to send him. It is Hoskins. I don't think we're really going to be sending Hoskins. Something tells me no. He is a running one to 11. So we're going to, we're going to go ahead and uh, just hope that the next guy can get a hit and the next guy happens to be Gregorius. And he gets a 1-3 and that's going to be a ground ball first base. So he does not. And we get one run. Uh, wait a minute. One run in the uh, fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And Colin Moran is the batter. Now this is going to be, no matter what, this is going to be Spencer Howard's last inning. Uh, either he'll exit this inning because he'll suck again, or he will uh, exit uh, after and we'll have someone else take over for him. But this is his last inning. It is a 6-6 six, six batting left, and that's going to be a walk. So Moran is on with a walk. Moran has gotten on by an error, struck out, and walked. Fourth walk issued by Spencer Howard. Bell up. Bell gets a 2-9, and that's going to be a strikeout. Bell, at least he struck out Bell all three times he's faced him. I got to say that at least for him. So there's one down, and Cabrian Hayes up. And he gets a 3-7, and that's going to be a fly to center field. He flies out. That's two down. And Jacob Stalling. And he gets a 5-9 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball to the shortstop. He is a 3-E-4. That is an 8. So we're going to the E-4. That is a 6. And that is going to be a ground ball. So, let's see. He goes... Uh, he goes six or he goes four to three four to three i'm gonna say um so no runs for the pirates in the fifth we go to the top of the sixth and it is five to one and bryce harper is the batter and i guess i should say who's going to warm up here and get ready to come in David Hale is warming up for our Phillies. Harper is the batter. He gets a 4-7 batting left. And that's going to be a strikeout. Williams with only his second strikeout of the game. Wasn't a big strikeout artist. Jay Bruce up. Jay Bruce gets a 2-7. That is going to be a strikeout. But he is, now he's starting to whiff people. And uh, that brings up Torres. And he gets a 2-7. And that is going to be a ground ball third. No runs come in for us in the sixth. We go to the bottom of the sixth. And uh, we are going to bring in David Hale. So Howard goes five. And he allows only three hits. Walked four and allowed two earned runs, but five runs overall. So uh, he uh, really, he didn't pitch that poorly. Uh, our defense just let him down. And we will bring in Hale. 
And Jacob Stallings is the first batter. Is that right? No, Riddle is. Riddle is the first batter to face him. In the bottom of the sixth, 5-1 Pirate. He gets a 5-7 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Hale, Hale's K's the first guy that he meets, and uh, Newman's up. And Newman gets a 3-9, and that's going to be a ground ball second base, 4-3. And Oliva. And Oliva gets a 1-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. Of course, Oliva was mostly a backup player, and he's only in because of injuries. And uh, and Hale strikes out two of the three men he faced. We go to the top of the seventh. Five to one Pirates still. Real Muto is the batter. And he gets a 6-10. Batting right, that is going to be... A, let's see, he is, nope, it's going to be an out. It is going to be a fly ball left field for Real Muto. That time the ballpark robbed him. Um, bomb is up. And he gets a 6-4, six, 6-4 four, six, four batting right. That is going to be... A ground ball to the shortstop. Their shortstop is a 4E68. So they're, let's see, that's going to be a ground, it's still going to be a ground ball C though. So Baum is out, 6-3, and Hoskins is the batter. Again, this is, this is how this entire season's gone for the, the Phillies. 2-7, that's a walk. <clears throat> So Hoskins aboard with a walk, two down. And Quinn up. And Quinn gets a 1-5, and that's going to be a strikeout. Quinn has struck out three of the four times he's been up today. So uh, Trevor Williams really has his number. Um, but we go to the bottom of the seventh with the score still five to one. And uh, Brian Reynolds is up. We are going to let Hale pitch a second inning. He pitched a good first, so why not? And he gets a four seven batting left. And that's going to be a single. So Reynolds, the leadoff hitter, gets a single. First hit allowed by Hale. Osuna up. Osuna gets a 3 9. And that is going to be a single double asterisk. So, not, not a good situation here for Hale. Of course, we're losing badly. I'm just going to leave the infield back. There's no need to try to cut off a run to try to keep a game close because it isn't. Moran is up, and that gets a 6-3 batting left. And that's going to be a fly to left. The left fielder is a 4-E-4. That is a 4. I don't like the looks of that. It's a double 3 asterisk. So both runs score on the double. And uh, Hale allows a hit and two runs to score, and a man is 180 feet away. And uh, there's no outs, no outs. And they have seven, but I'll mark that after the inning is over because it may be more coming up. Uh, Bell is up. 
Bell gets a 3-4, and that is going to be a walk. So he'll just fill in first base. Hayes up, Cabrian Hayes. Cabrian Hayes gets a 5-6 batting right. That's going to be a single double asterisk and score over another run. So the hit parade for the Pirates, this is just a real, uh, this is just a good old fashioned ass whooping that we're taking here. Um, Stallings is the batter. There are still no outs. And that's a 6-5 batting right. And that's going to be a ground ball shortstop, double play. So finally, we get something go our way. And that's two outs. And uh, the run scores, though. So the run does score. And Riddle is up. And he gets a 1-7, and that will be a single as the hit parade just keeps coming at us. <laughs> Unbelievable. <It's, laughs> which it isn't. It is not believable that <laughs> the Phillies are this bad. Newman is up. Newman gets a 5-10 batting right. And... Uh, that's going to be a fly ball center. Now, I mean, you can say, like, there's a lot of things you could say, like that I left pitchers in too long. But for one thing, the Phillies have a terrible bullpen this particular year. And by the way, let's change this five into uh, what it is now, a an eight, nine. It's a nine. So... Um, so like you could say, yeah, I, I left pitchers in too long, like maybe Spencer Howard, except that really I didn't leave Spencer Howard in too long. I mean, he just got jumped on really quickly in the first inning, and it was 5 nothing before I knew what happened. But then he pitched the next four innings and uh, shut him down. Yeah, he fit, pitched the next four innings and shut him down. And then I bring in Hale, but I'm already losing by a lot of runs, and... The Phillies' bullpen is not very good in 2020, so you've got to pitch those guys. Those guys have to pitch sometime. So, you know, it's, you know, maybe you, there's a little bit of blame. I don't know. I don't think there really is a little bit of blame that could be laid at me, on my shoulders for this loss. It was just we got jumped on really quickly, and our offense hasn't done anything. So McCutcheon is going to be the leadoff hitter here in the eighth, and... They're going to take Trevor Williams out, so Williams only goes seven. Um, I mean, maybe this will help us because Williams has been shutting us down, but it's, you know, it's, um, it's what, six? No, it's uh, five, yeah. It's nine, one, so, I mean... I don't know if we're going to come up with eight runs off of anybody. But they're going to bring in Bashler to pitch, and he was terrible. I mean, in the 2020, um, his 2020 Imagine stats are 24 innings pitched, 25 hits allowed, and a 638 earned run average. But that isn't really going to matter because they're up by eight runs. So McCutcheon is the uh, batter here in the eighth that will face him. He gets a 4-10 batting right, and that's going to be a ground ball short, 6-3. Also, keep an eye on Bachelor because he's terrible, but yet let's see how he pitches as compared to my terrible pitchers. Didi Gregorius is up, and he gets a 3-8, and uh, Bachelor is a righty. That's a pop out to short. So, I mean, you can see right so far, Bachelor, terrible pitcher. Doing really well. Harper. Harper gets a 4-9 batting left. And that's going to be a strikeout. 
And Harper has struck out twice today. And uh, so, yeah, Bachelor gets a K. And uh, Harper gets the K and no runs, reset it back to no outs. And we go to the bottom of the eighth, losing 9-1. And I am going to take Hale out after two innings. Here in the bottom of the eighth. Like, I mean, I'm not going to bring in... I do have a few good relief pitchers, but I'm not going to bring any of them in in this game because that would just be a waste of, you know, a good relief pitcher. I'm going to bring in a uh, workman, and he is a workman. But we've had a lot of games where we've been bad, so I could bring workman in. <laughs> um, Oliva is the batter. Now, to his, uh, you know, one thing that works in his favor is Oliva's terrible and, and just a backup player and not very good. And he gets a 2-6, and that is going to be a pop-out to shortstop. So pop-out 6, which brings up Reynolds. And he gets a 2-6, and that's going to be a ground ball to the pitcher. So he goes 1-3, Workman throwing him out. And Osuna up. And he gets a 1-10, and that is going to be... Um, and out. That is going to be a line out to third base. So Workman does get through that inning. No runs come in for the Pirates there. And we go to the top of the ninth where we need eight runs. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I mean, they're going to leave Bachelor out there. Why not? He, he was pitching. He pitched great last inning. I got a one, two, three inning for us. Bruce is the batter. He gets a 1-3, and that's going to be a foul out to the catcher. Torres is the batter. He gets a 1-7, and that is going to be a ground ball second base. 4-3, and Real Muto. Isn't that, this is it. Put your street clothes on. Go home. It's 5-8, batting right. And that is going to be a ground ball to second. And their second baseman is a 3-E-26. That is a 3, though. That might be a hit. I think Real Muto might have gotten himself a hit here. He did. He got a single. So, yeah, throw the confetti. Real Muto got a hit. So Bachelor, I want to point out, Bachelor, bad pitcher. He's allowed only one hit and struck out a guy and no runs. So why can't my bad pitching do that? Bomb is up. And he gets a 5-4 batting right. And that's going to be a fly to center. Their center fielder is a 3-E-1. That's a 7 and that is going to be a fly ball C, and that's all she wrote. Fly out to center field for Baum, and we do go on to lose this game by the score of 9-1. to one. We were never really in this. We got down quick early five runs, never actually recovered, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.